welcome back. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for joining me again for another fun week of our Pisces. I can't believe it. It is the end of week two. I wanted to say thank you so far for the fact that people have subscribed, they've liked, they've even commented. I've had some uh, PM comments for a couple of things that people want to hear outside of these videos, which is super great. You know, I am no expert, but I do have a lot of experience now with at least the first two weeks. So if you have any questions or you want any content, please feel free to message me. That was my email. So um, as you can tell, I'm a little more happy. I'm smiling more. This is great. It's, it's going well. <laughs> my cankers, I only have one canker sore that's really bugging me every now and then. If I have too much of citrusy foods, or if I'm indulging too much in sweet foods, then I notice it kind of flares up every now and then. Uh, that as well as vinaigrettes. So you gotta watch your vinaigrettes, um, which is unfortunate because I love vinaigrettes over any creamy dressing and personally have um, a dairy allergy. But yeah, I would just be careful with uh, getting them all on your cankers. It's not fun. So a little quick update on how it is going so far. I can't believe how much movement there is already. It might be a little small, like it's, it's a small adjustment, but it's huge for me. I hope what you can see from that is that my lateral incisors, they're not the ones right in the middle, the frontal, I think that's what, I think that's what they're called, um, but the lateral, the ones just beside the very, very front, those ones have now already come down to meet almost entirely uh, my front incisors. So all four incisors are almost completely straight from the naked eye and that's just really exciting to me. I always felt like I was a bit of a rat growing up. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just always felt like I had this like rat teeth thing going on where the fronts were a little bit longer than the sides so I always felt like so I'm really happy to see that movement happening already after two weeks. All right guys, so you know I like to keep this uh, quick and just short little updates. So what I wanted to share with you today was how to avoid getting any stains on your teeth and tell you a little bit of my turmeric story. So it was day one, or let's say night one of having my braces and I got these beautiful, nice ceramic, clear white braces. I was all very happy because, you know, it just looked like a retainer to me. Other than your teeth looking like they're double the size, let's just forget that even exists. My lovely boyfriend decides to make me some soup because I am very sore and puts a ton of turmeric into it. Maybe a little bit of cumin as well, but definitely turmeric because he knows so much I love it. And little did I know that turmeric is one of the most staining foods aside from tomato juices and sauces, oranges and, and citrus fruits as well. I didn't realize how staining it would be. I thought, well, let's, let's give it a go. What's the harm? We might as well try it out. I took one sip of the soup and it seemed fine. And then maybe after a few more sips, it was definitely yellow. And let me tell you, it is a very scary experience when you just got your new braces and they're beautiful and clean and now you think that you have stained them for the next month until you get the new um, elastics put on. And to note, it's not necessarily the ceramic braces themselves that get dirty, it's only really the elastics. So lovely turmeric, you gotta stay away from it. <laughs> so first off, brushing after every time you eat, if possible. If you can do that and keep up that regimen, then I do recommend it. Um, but for someone like me that, that kind of works on the go, um, it isn't really great for me to roll up to one of the retailer's stores and brush my teeth in their sink. I just don't know if that's super professional, but if you have an office or all of your coworkers are your friends and are willing to either make fun of you or let you live with it, then go, go ahead and definitely brush after every time that you eat. So flossing, if you can get the floss in between the bracket on the wire itself, try and rubbing the floss back and forth, that definitely helps, at least with the front ones, because you can get them, they're easy to reach. So if you can and you have the time, I definitely recommend flossing a little bit between those. Okay, so here's the big one. The number one thing that got rid of my turmeric stained elastics was Arm & Hammer toothpaste. When I went to the store, about a week before I got my braces. I thought I would think ahead and maybe get something that was a sensitive toothpaste so that it wouldn't be as bad when I did get the braces on at first. So um, it turned out being the cheapest option and the one that ended up being awesome in the end. I've been told that baking soda actually helps get the stains out of the elastics 
and I kid you not, I swear because this Arm & Hammer toothpaste has some baking soda and some whitening action, let's be serious, who doesn't like a little bit of whitening action on their teeth? The abrasion is what helped get rid of all the yellow from the turmeric. So the fourth thing I would recommend is straws. Straws when and where possible. I even have two straws always on the go in my car. No, it's not gross. I do wash them out, just like I would my Tupperware. Try to drink out of a straw. No, I haven't tried drinking soup out of a straw because I find it personally disgusting. But if you can do so, then all the power to you. So I have to give a shout out to Emma Louise, one of the most adorable YouTubers out there that has a vlog series on her braces. And she has a, one of the videos, um, I definitely will link it down below, where she mentions straws are super important. And I totally took this advice from her, so thank you Emma Louise for suggesting straws, because now I know the world of straws. And it's lovely, and it's wonderful. And lastly, don't bite into foods if you have a choice not to. And what I mean by that is if you have a big greasy old burger and you want to take a big bite out of it, that's probably the worst thing you can do for yourself. For one, you'll probably get some bread stuck up in there, maybe some meat as well in between your braces. It's not fun later on when you have little food families coming out. It's honestly turned me into pretty much vegetarian because it's very gross having chunks of chicken wing later on. I know this might be explicit and sorry for the full coverage. You know, sushi is kind of fun to eat, only you can't really get it out of the sides, but just pretend it's not there and then wash it where possible. <laughs> Honestly, I love rice and it's my go-to filler food aside from potatoes, so I definitely just deal with it and then find the food families later of rice stuck in my teeth. So those were my tips and little tricks that I, I definitely do to avoid getting any stained teeth. Remember that Arm & Hammer toothpaste really did really did save my life. If you don't want to do the whole toothpaste thing, <laughs> you need toothpaste. <laughs> okay guys, so that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know if you have any questions or comments or you want to share some of your stories on what got stuck in your teeth. If you don't have anything stuck in your teeth, then good for you. So subscribe down below, please like the video, and please join me next week for our week three update.